Pat with Ride Channel Radios. One of the tools that we use most to, to uh, diagnose CB installations is the multimeter. Now it's a tool that not everybody's familiar with, so we're gonna go over how to use a multimeter and then how to do a few continuity checks on common CB parts. First, we wanna set our multimeter to the ohm setting. I set it to the 20K ohm setting. Now this is a multimeter that I picked up very inexpensively at a local electronics store. I think I bought it at Walmart. Anyway, you'll see here you have a reading of one. A reading of one shows that there is no continuity, but then when you create a circuit or have a dead short, it'll show a reading of zero. So no continuity, continuity. With CB, it's very important that we have the mount grounded. It's very important that we have the antenna and other positive elements of the system isolated from grounding, so that's why we use a continuity check. Let's go ahead and test out a mount. All right, here we have a standard CB mount with a PL259 antenna stud installed. The mount is grounded, so the actual mount is grounded, where the double-sided nut, anything really above the nylon washer, the double-sided nut in these washers are all positive connections and should be isolated from grounding, so no continuity between the mount and the double-sided nut. So we'll go ahead and test that by touching the metal end of one of the ends of the multimeter to the mount, the other to the double-sided nut, and we should have um, a reading of one on there. So no continuity. There you go. Now we'll go ahead and test from the grounding, from the mount to the grounding portion of the stud, which is the outer threads here, which touch the outer threads on the PL259 connection touch those and we should have a reading right around zero. And we do. So that tells you that the grounding portion of the antenna stud is properly grounded to the mount and that the positive portion is isolated and that there's no um, continuity between those elements. Next, we'll grab a coax cable. Whoa, here we go. Just got a whole handful of coax. So this is a standard PL259 coax cable. And what we're gonna test is we're gonna make sure there's no continuity between the center pin and the outer shield. So here's the outer shield. We'll go ahead and put one end of the multimeter on that and the other to the center pin and we'll have a reading of one or we should, so no continuity. But if we go ahead and go, then we'll test from outer shield to outer shield to make sure we do have continuity there. Outer shield to outer shield have a reading right around zero for that, showing good continuity. And then we can even go center pin to center pin. This is a little bit tricky to do just with my fingers here. Give me a sec. I'm gonna pinch one together on this side with my left hand and with my right hand. Oops. It's a little tough. This is a little bit of a trickier test just because you have to touch the center pin without touching the outer shield. And do I have a reading of zero there? Yep between those two. I wasn't real tight on that side, but you guys saw that there was continuity between the center pins. And uh, so there's continuity between both center pins, both outer shields, but there is no continuity between the center pin and the outer shield. So this is a properly working coax. Next thing you could do in your system, so if this picture, if this was installed on your vehicle, you can also take these tests when they're hooked up together. So here we go, I'm hooking this up. There, so now we should have continuity between the outer shield on that and the mount, showing that it's properly grounded. Should have a reading of right around zero, yep, or at zero. Uh, no continuity between the outer shield of the coax and the top, and we should have continuity between the center pin here. Again, let me try to get a nice grip on this. Hold it in place with this hand without touching the outer shield there and the double-sided nut and yep we have great continuity there so we know that that's all hooked up properly now let's grab an antenna into the mix boom we've got a four foot fire stick firefly one of my favorite antennas this thing just tunes in great toss that on there and then we'll test continuity we'll actually go all the way to the tip of the antenna test continuity from the tip of the antenna there to the center pin of the coax. 
and we'll check out our reading there. And yep, right at zero. So we have great continuity there and we'll make sure that we have no continuity between um, the antenna and the mount. Oop, going way down here to the mount. Make sure we have a reading of one there. Make sure we have no continuity between the tip of the antenna. Oh, that's the center pin, excuse me, and the outer. <laughs> we should have, should have had continuity there. So no continuity between the outer shield and the tip of the antenna. But then we do have great continuity between the center pin and the tip of the antenna. So when you suspect that you might have a faulty, uh, faulty um, part in your CB install, bust out the multimeter, test the parts, make sure that everything tests out properly. properly. We have the steps for testing each of these pieces laid out on our website, rightchannelradios.com. And uh, ah, good luck in troubleshooting your CB installation. Please, please let us know if you guys have any questions.